everybody, today I'm going to take a close and detailed look at the Mesco Batman figure from Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. This figure is from Mesco's 112 collective line of 6 inch figures. The figure comes in this great looking box with the Batman vs Superman symbol on the front as well as the 112 collective line logo. On the back, some photos of the figure and the many accessories here. And this plastic cover has to be removed before we can open up the box. And here we also get the Batman vs Superman symbol. So inside we see the figure clearly displayed with three layers of accessories. So all in all, a very nice packaging of this figure. And here we have the figure outside the box. And my first impression was that this really looks and feels like Batman. It's a very cool looking high quality figure. But before we get the final opinion, we have to take a detailed look at the accessories. So let's begin with these accessories. The grapple gun, the branding iron, a gas grenade, an extra head with a more angry Batman, two loose batarangs and three different types of hooks for the grapple gun. And then we get a bunch of hands, open hands, fisted hands, hands to hold the gun, a branding iron and also hands that already hold the batarang. We also get a display base here with the Batman and Superman symbol. We get a display arm and then these bendy wire accessories that comes with this part to the cape. And finally we also get a plastic bag to store all these accessories which is a good thing. So the different types of hooks go into the grapple gun very easy. Here we have the open hook and the closed hook. And then we can also connect the hook with the wire to the gun so it looks like Batman is firing the hook. Very cool. And the gun itself can be stored on the figure. There is a peck hole here in the gun and it pecks easily onto the utility belt and then Batman can carry his gun here on the back. It's mostly easy to switch between the different accessories and parts of the figure. So let's try to change a hand here. It's very easy. And it's a gun holding hand. And as you can see here, the gun slides in to the hand. Also very easy. And the figure holds the gun perfectly. So we can also try to change the head of the figure. And while we do that, we can talk about that some collectors compare these 112 figures with small Hot Toys figures. And I can see what they mean because the quality is high but so is the price. These figures are very pricey for a 6 inch figure but there are a lot of value to them as well. Then we also get this figure stand and as I mentioned earlier there are Bendy wires here that can be used to pose the cape. It takes a little work and some patience to get it done, but if you do that, then you can display the figure in several dynamic flying poses. And you can see they are connected here on the back like this. I think it's cool that Mesco included this possibility. I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but well, it's a possibility. So now for some size comparisons here next to also a Mesco 6 inch figure, Scorpion. And here next to the SH Figure Arts Ant-Man. And here next to Marvel Legends Black Panther. And next to the 112 Collective Judge Dread. And these figures are some of the taller 6 inch figures. And Batman is almost as tall as a 7 inch figure. So here we have the figure next to the 7 inch Catwoman. 
and she's a bit taller, but then again, she's wearing high heels. So let's take a look at the articulation now. And this figure has all the articulation it needs. Really impressive. The head here, and then we have the arms. We go up and all the way around, if you like. Bend at the elbow more than 90 degrees, and also articulated here at the wrist. The figure bends back this much and forward like this. Also, a good amount of leg articulation, high kick, and he can do the splits more than this, but I won't force it. And bends at the knee. And finally, we have a good pivot here at the angle. So, as I said, very good articulation of this Batman figure. Finally, let's go through the details. I really like the look and the likeness of the figure. I think the bat suit here and the belt looks stunning and just like in the movie. We also get the gold paint here on his gloves as well as on his boots. The cape is in a leather type quality. Here at the bottom of the cape it is weathered so it looks dirty. Again, a very cool effect. And as always, it's a matter of taste whether you like this type of cape and this type of cloth on the figure. I do, and I really cannot recommend this figure enough. But for now, you'll have my final thoughts of the figure, and then we'll sum up this review. I managed to get this 112 Collective Batman at the very end of the year 2016, and it turned out to be my figure of the year. I am really, really impressed with the 112 Collective line, and especially this Batman figure. It's a pricey figure, even more pricey here in Europe than in America because of the shipping and import. But you do get a lot of stuff and you get a lot of value. This is a very, very good figure that I highly recommend for everybody, especially fans of Batman and DC Comics. Thanks a lot for watching this review. Leave a comment or subscribe if you'd like to see more.